Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Snake Doc here. Today, what we have of my project for today. So I have a Kydex pancake holster here with speed clips on it. It's an outside the waistband holster. It was originally for a Glock. And then when I sold the Glock, I reshaped it and made it for my SAR, SAR 9. <clears throat> and now, since I sold the SAR 9, it kind of fits. We're going to make it, we're going to heat form it for the SW40VE. SW40VE. Of course, we are clear. So, all you need for this, we're going to take my welding gloves because this is going to get hot, and then a handy dandy heat gun. Just going to blow some heat. inside the holster. So I just turn the heat gun on, hopefully you can still hear me. And I'm just gonna start heating this. Don't wanna get it too close, but I have this on low because my high doesn't work on this anymore for some reason. So I'm just gonna kinda heat it for a second here until I start seeing it soften up a little bit. It doesn't take long. And you could see that that holster almost worked as it was anyway, so I'm just really more worried about changing the trigger guard shape. So I'm just going to work on that area right now with some heat. Once you start smelling that Kydex, you know you can give it a shot. So I can smell the Kydex now, so I'm going to push this in. <clears throat> Slightly pliable. So... I'm just going to kind of use the gloves here and just kind of work around. Use my knuckle, use my fingertip and kind of push different spots here. Okay, so you can see where the trigger guard or the uh, mag button is. It's kind of different. So I'm going to reshape that. So now actually I'm going to take my glove off for a minute so I can get a little bit more detailed. And then I'm just going to blow on it as I'm doing it. So now, there I can see how I formed that down to that indentation there. So I'm going to put my glove back on and just hold it there for a second while it cools. And it won't take long for it to cool. My gloves are somewhat cool because they were out in the garage. So there we can see now the fit is way better. Um, I still kind of want to do the trigger guard shape just a smidge more. So I'm just going to leave the gun in there for a second. It's going to heat this side up a little bit because I want to depress this a little bit right here too. So just heat, heat, heat. Kind of stay away from your sight channel so you don't screw that up. You still need that sight channel to be able to, uh, be able to draw the gun smoothly without hanging up on that front sight at all. So let's try this. Slip my glove back on here. Work this down a little bit. Yeah, it's nice and soft now. Good. You're careful around your grommets and stuff because those are metal, those are going to get hot fast. Go. 
See how I'm shaping that against the uh, opposite side of the mag release button? It's going to give us a nice fit. Okay, we should be good to go. So let me pop the gloves off here. Go ahead and draw it. Okay, so I could, because um, it will fall out if I shake really hard. So now what I could do is just heat this up right here. And then just squeeze in around the trigger guard. So now you're just going to hold this here for a second until that you can see how it's forming around that. You can blow across it to cool it down. I'm going to check our retention now. Definitely better. Still an easy draw. It's not activating the mag release or anything like that. I could do some on that side if I wanted to, but I really don't feel like I need to. So uh, I'm happy with that. Sight channel is working good. I'm not messing up my sight or anything like that. So I'm happy. So that's all it takes. If you have a Kydex, Kydex pancake holster, it's got to be real Kydex. It can't be like that injection molded stuff. Um, or some of those polymer, like the Blade Tech holsters or the Phobus, where they're not really Kydex. Um, those, I don't know that you'll have the same kind of luck with those, but with this one, um, it wasn't a problem because this is real Kydex or Bolteron. Um, so just all you need is a heat gun in a couple minutes and just reshape it. So we went from a Glock holster to a SAR holster to a Smith & Wesson holster. Thank you guys for watching. Always shoot safe.